welcome to my channel and welcome to a new nail art tutorial. I don't do these often, but I've uh, figured out a new way of filming and um, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm gonna start off with the entire process today. So we're going to begin with removing old product. I'm lazy, so I use an e-file. Um, I do really recommend for removing products to use an e-file because it just saves a lot of time. But if you're a beginner, please be careful because you could seriously harm your hands with an e-file and that would be painful and not healthy so yeah be careful um i start off with quite a very toothy and sharp drill bit um in order to just quickly again remove the product i always always work my nails down to a very thin clear layer um so that i can just you know start doing a new design on it without having to worry about the entire thing becoming way way too thick so yeah, just make an effort and try to get as much product off as possible without filing through the acrylic onto your natural nail. Then I'm moving on to the next file bit. This one is a little bit more of a, well you can see what shape it is. Um, but it's a little bit softer. I still would not recommend using this on your natural nail. But you can use it at the edges of the acrylic to remove lifting. I especially like the shape of this, uh, I was gonna say brush, <laughs> the shape of this file bit for removing lifted acrylic. Um, lifting, for if you don't know, is when the acrylic is not attached to the nail anymore. You want to remove all of that before you continue on applying new product because otherwise it is, it's, it's just going to be a very weak spot in your nail, which is not good. Um, it might cause future lifting or even breaking of the acrylic. Uh, then I use a mandrill and this one you can actually use on your natural nail as well. It's very soft, it won't even hurt you if you accidentally use it on your skin. You don't want to probably, but it won't hurt. So you can just blend the acrylic with your natural nail and then it's time for cuticle oil. Uh, cuticle oil, sorry, cuticle remover. Uh, whatever brand you use doesn't really matter, I use a very cheap one. But this is just going to soften the dead skin of the cuticle so you can more easily remove it. And yeah, uh, I gotta admit, a wooden stick is more gentle, but a uh, metal stick is more effective in my opinion. And I'm just really not a gentle person with my own hands or face or anything really. So I use metal um, and then I go for a filing bit, which is also meant for removing cuticle. Just to get all that nasty dead skin off of there, because if you apply acrylic over top of that skin, it's going to lift and that's just bad, so... Make sure you get the nail as clean as you could possibly get it. And yeah, on the actual subject of making your nails clean, don't forget to also wash your hands thoroughly after using the cuticle remover so that it just doesn't sit on your skin for too long because, I don't know, I've personally never had issues with it, but I can't imagine it being very healthy to leave it on for ages. Then, for the actual acrylic, um, I'm going to use Max Adhesion by Neo. I'm actually going to use mostly Neo products. All the stuff that I use in terms of acrylic will be listed below the video, as always. Um, but basically, you're going to need a clear, a nude, and a blue. Or if you don't want to use blue, use some other color. We're just going to do a French tip, and the beauty of it is you can do whatever color French tip you want. Um, but yeah, the brush, by the way, is a size 10, as you just saw. And then uh, I'm going to start with prepping the nail. The prepping stuff is mostly alcohol. This is just going to make sure that there's no oils on your nails. Because oils, as with a great many amount of things, can cause the acrylic to lift. Which, lifting is bad. That's just what we all need to remember. Um, then I also, you could also do the buffing before the uh, prepping. But I forgot, I just forgot. But you want to buff the nail just so um, there is no surface shine anymore. You want the nail to be slightly damaged so it can, you know, really like, well, I should explain this properly. The acrylic can hold onto the nail. Yes. Uh, for that purpose, we're also using a primer. As you can tell, I'm using far less of the primer than I did of the um, other stuff, of the prep. Because the primer is more of a biting thing and you don't need a lot of it. Less is more. You just need a little bit to make sure that the acrylic... It adheres well and Max Adhesion actually has um, primer in it too, so it's like double primer. It's just really sturdy, which I love. Um, yeah, what I always like to start off with is a clear base, so I just refill where there's no acrylic left anymore. Um, I do this because when I want to change my design, I can just file down to set clear base and just apply new stuff like you just saw me do just now. So I always do this step. Also, by the way, I don't use tips and I don't use nail forms. I used to use nail forms back when I still did longer nails. But because of work, I have to do shorter nails now. 
Um, and it is more handy to be quite honest <laughs> with you. Um, but yeah, so I just use my natural nails. This is all my natural nails, but with acrylic on top of it. So I just basically do an overlay of acrylic on my natural nails. Just so you know. And then I'm going to start off on the French tip that I'm going to do on my index finger and middle finger nail. Um, I always just like to apply um, a little bit too much product, quite frankly here. Um, and then just make sure that I get a nice French tip line in the uh, nude acrylic. Immediately, you could let this dry and then brush the edge of it, brush, the file the edge of it to make it nice and crisp. But it takes extra time and again, I'm lazy, so I always just try to fine tune it with the actual brush. So yeah, we're just going to do that on the two nails that I just mentioned. And just leave that to dry for a little bit. While that's drying, we can start on the... Well, we're just going to call this basically the um, accent nail. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Seafoam by Neo. Um, if you have this color, you know. But I'll just tell you anyways. This shade is not supposed to be fully opaque. It's more like Seafoam. It's like magical glittery water that's extremely blue. I explained that really weirdly just now, but it's not supposed to be fully opaque. So keep that in mind. Um, it's always going to look a bit watery and that's the entire point of it. So don't, don't struggle with it trying to make it opaque is what I'm trying to say here. Um, by now the nude acrylic is dry, so I'm also going to apply the sea foam on the French tips. I'm just being really, really careful because the less you have to clean up afterwards, well, the less work you have to do. And I just like it if I... Don't have to spend 12 centuries on my acrylic nails because I have a job and I have a life and I like having acrylic nails but I don't want to spend like my entire night on my <laughs> acrylic nails uh, every two to three weeks. Well more like three to four weeks really. I could let, have them last for like five weeks but I, I don't know I just like doing different designs. Anyway, um, yeah, then on the pinky finger and the thumb I'm only going to show you the pinky finger because it's the exact same. I'm just going to apply the nude. On my pinky finger I always apply way too much by the way. Like maybe because it's such a small nail. But I always end up oversaturating it with acrylic. And then having to take half of it off. Which is a waste of product. I really need to work on that. But anyway by then the other acrylic is dry. So I'm going to clear cap the um, glitter color. Because it's not a builder acrylic. It's more just of a pretty acrylic. So you need for strength. And also because you don't want to file on glitter. Because it might make the glitter less pretty. You want to clear cap it. I'm also going to do that on the um, French tips. I don't have to clear cap the nude. Because that is actually a builder color. Um, so it's strong enough on its own. And I can just file over it without risking any damage. Also on uh, fully colored nails, uh, fully colored acrylic like the blue glitter stuff is usually a little bit more expensive than the base colors. Um, so yeah, I apply very little of it and then make the structure of the nail, like make the shape of the nail with the clear because the clear is cheaper. Just a bit of economics really. Either way, once you're done with um, this entire process, do always make sure to check the nails from the top and from the sides so you're sure that you have enough product on before you tidy up all your acrylic and wait for this stuff to dry. After which we can smack the nails. You don't have to be as rough as I am. You just want to make sure that they're dry before you start filing is basically the thing. And then I'm going to start filing them. I'm going to start off with quite a rough file. And then move down to softer and softer and softer files to get the nail as smooth and soft as possible. Um, with, this, like with this whole entire shaping and filing thing, I do actually always do this by hand. For the simple reason that with the e-file, I just I know myself. I'm used to removing product with the e-file and I would just remove way too much product. And then I would have to start all over again. So the final shaping of the nail, I always do with hand files. But that's just a personal preference. That's... That might be different for everyone. But yeah, just make sure the shape is nice. Make sure you don't have weird scratches or bumps in the nail. Then finally finish it off with a buffer. And once you're done with buffing the nail, the nail should be so smooth that if you run your finger over it, it, it just feels soft basically. That's just really the way I always check if I properly did my filing routine. By just, you know, patting my nail basically, like a creep. And you can see the difference, the uh, filed nail just looks a whole lot nicer. 
then I always like to go over it with um, nail polish remover because it smooths the nail even more but also because it removes any dust and uh, yeah and it also removes incidentally any and all oils you might have gotten on your nails in the process so that you're not going to make the job of the top coats to stick on your nails any more difficult uh, I'm going to use the uh, matte top coat by Neo and their mega gloss urban graffiti matte and uh, yeah just regular mega gloss I'm gonna start on the glittery nail just because it's so satisfying to put acrylic or uh, to put nail polish on top of glitter acrylic like the top coat just brings the glitter to life and it's so pretty um, so yeah this nail is just going to be shiny the other ones I originally intended to be matte uh, fully so uh, at first I'm just going to apply the Urban Graffiti matte top coat on all of those they start out shiny and once you cure it it's just going to go matte uh, whatever gel polish you use just follow the directions on the bottle on how long to cure it for and of course you can also just use regular nail polish top coat that's fine as well it will last less long but on acrylic it's really not going to like it's, it's not going to make the nail in itself more vulnerable or anything so yeah just curing that and then i decided you can see on my other hand um, that i decided to make all the glitter shiny so i'm just very very carefully applying a very tiny amount of uh, banger gloss just on the tips of the french tip nails um, i'm being very careful because i don't want this to become too thick and then obviously cure that as well and then we're done this is the final result um, i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did enjoy it please click the like button it would really help me out and if you want to see more of our videos you can always subscribe to my youtube channel i actually mostly do uh, makeup tutorials anyway for now at least thank you very much for watching this video i hope you have a wonderful day and i really hope to see you next time bye